हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर आरना सिंह फ्रॉम ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेज न्यू दिल्ली आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग माय एमबीबीएस फ्रॉम एम्स राइट नाउ आई एम डूइंग सिक्स ईयर एम सी एच न्यूरो सर्जरी प्रोग्राम फॉर एम्स न्यू दिल्ली इट सेल्फ आई एम सेकंड ईयर जूनियर रेजिडेंट राइट नाउ एंड दिस वीडियो वॉज हाईली डिमांडेड अलॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग मी स्पेशली दोज हु हैव बीन अंडर माई मेंटोरशिप ड्यूरिंग देयर नीट यू जी प्रिपरेशन नाउ दे आर हेडिंग टूवर्ड्स नीट पी जी आई एन आई सी टी नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड दे हैव रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक a video on november 2025 exam now i know that you don't have much time in hand so i have broken down this video for inict 2025 into two parts part 1 is about the mindset and then part 2 will be about the journey so let me tell you my own story quickly i will try to sum up everything all the four points here right in this short video so my story was like this that i had six plus 9 days of time that is 15 days before the exam when i had planned that i would give my final revision plus i would revise everything that i have created in my 20th album or notebook okay so what happened was that because of some reason i was very upset and i was not studying and I, because of that you know i did not study at a stretch for 6 days i was trying to distract during that period of 6 days this red 6 days what i did i was trying to distract myself from the preparation and the guilt of not preparing by binge watching one of the netflix series okay and then i was not talking to my mom and dad and i had completely isolated myself i was like i will not give the exam right now i am not i am giving it for the first time i have two three more attempts left i will give it next time so the problem there was that the exam was no, not non negotiable for me i was taking it casually i was like chalta hai dekha jayega see i studied well before these 15 days last 15 days i was studying well but in the first 6 days of the last 15 days for some reason i got disturbed theek hai and then i was not able to come back out of it right and i wasted 6 days but on the 6th day what happened one of my friends called me up and he was like consider this exam non negotiable agar ye chalta hai attitude rahega and you continue to think that okay next time de denge right then the problem is aane wale 9 days also i will waste and the, on the day of the exam i will have immense regret and remorse that why did i waste time because the questions would be doable but i will not be able to recall it within a limited time frame because i have not revised everything i had not covered everything so from that point onward for the last 9 days i was like no i have to complete everything and this is what i would recommend to all of you who are wasting time right now please consider these four things first thing is that the exam is non negotiable for you it is very important even if you are preparing for neat pg your final aim is neat pg you don't want to come to aims delhi you don't want medicine here you don't want your surgery here you don't want surgery here you want to go into some other medical college that's okay take neat pg and why are neat pg only there will be counseling delays everything all the ruckus is there in neat pg you want to tolerate that you want to be treated like shit there no problem okay do that but please for next two weeks i want you to consider that this exam is non negotiable this is the biggest exam and you have to give it okay and you are not going to skip it at any cost okay so there is no going out out you are not on the fence you are not deciding whether i should give or not i should give it a full try or not no you have to give it you have to train yourself right now that this is a non negotiable thing and you have to write the exam and you are not going to skip it okay the second thing the next step about the mindset is be honest with your preparation now whatever has happened has happened okay i told myself okay i have wasted 6 days i did not study anything at all i could have completed a lot of short subjects like psychiatry ortho ent ofta i could have completed it i could have completed one long subject as well okay but then i told myself okay i have to accept and studying right now whatever time i have in hand i have to think about the things which are within my control okay whatever is there in the past i have to flush it out of my system and i have to forgive myself for that whatever happened happened for a reason okay there was a bad day and that got stressed for next 6 days i should not have done that and that's okay you have to tell yourself okay you did not prepare for i night till now it's okay but the next two weeks or the next 10 days i am going to give it my best shot whatever is possible 24/7 i am going to put all my time effort energy into cracking this ini ct november 2025 now the third thing would be you have to shut down your regret and rejection system now what happened with me was also that when i started on 6th day or the 7th day 
I started preparing again. Then I could see that I have, I, I had such a speed that I was able to cover orthopedics in like one, one and a half hour. My previous revision took me five, six hours. I was able to flip through the entire marrow orthopedic note in which I had highlighted and bookmarked important stuff. But I could flip through it in one, one and a half hour. Ofta was a major, uh, you know, a difficult short subject for me, right? But I could flip through it within three, three and a half hour. I was able to complete OBGY in 12 hours. I could revise everything. And that was the speed I was, you know, uh, running at and I was flipping through my notes and I was able to complete all the important highlighted bookmarked stuff in my notes. So that gave me some kind of regret that why did I waste those six days? Had I utilized these six days, I could have done much better. I could have covered everything. I would have been more confident. I could have seen previous question as well. But then you have to shut down this regret system because this is gonna kill your time further. And then this regret will lead to feeling of self rejection. You will, you know, that's, you know, the feeling of self doubt creeps in and then you start feeling that, okay, this time I think this exam, uh, I don't deserve it. I don't deserve a rank here. I have not prepared well and you will give yourself all sort of reasons why you should be ruled out of the competition. But that is the point where you need to shut it off. You have to flush it out of your system, the regret and the feeling of, you know, that you have that you will be rejected in the exam, you will not be selected and you will not get your dream medical college or your dream branch. And, you know, kind of you also start thinking that this is what will happen with you, the same fate will repeat with you in NEET PG as well, right? So you have to get out of this loop and you have to think, no, I am going to win this exam. You have to cheerlead yourself. In the last nine days, I was faking my confidence. I was like, no, I will do better. Doesn't matter what happened in the last six days, but these nine days, I'm going to win it and I'm going to win it big. I will get a rank in at which all the surgical options will be open for me at Ames New Delhi itself. I have completed my MBBS from here. I was here nine in need. I was here 11 Ames. I deserve a good rank. I can do it. I have no reason why I cannot do well in this exam. Though I had wasted six days, but still I was faking that confidence. I was cheer leading myself till the end. And I was telling myself, okay, I have wasted time. No, but no issue, no problem. Nahi. I have to forgive myself and I have to do my best and I have to keep pumping myself till the end so that I use each and every ounce of time that I have in hand in those nine days and try to finish as much as possible and try to cover this fourth point, breath over depth and flip and run through the notes till the end. I had to see every subject, all the 19 subjects whatever I have marked, whatever I have bookmarked, whatever previous year question I had bookmarked, uh, whatever pearls I had bookmarked, I had to go through it, or uh, whatever screenshot I had taken, I had to go through it, I have to flip through it in those nine days. So you have to fake that confidence. If you don't have that kind of confidence, that, you know, pseudo confidence only, then it will be very difficult for you to, you know, uh, you know to get to the end because towards the end, the pressure will be very high. And to bear that pressure, you need to have some unnatural kind of confidence in you and you have to ingrain that inside yourself that you are going to top the exam. That is the mindset you have to go and give the exam with. And th that's why I have made this video part one of mindset because I want each and every one of you to think that this exam is non-negotiable and however tough it might be, I am going to give my best and I am going to win in the exam. You have to think like this, as a topper, I am going to a topper mindset. And I will do it well, I will get a paper to fold me. There is no doubt about it. Right? So in the next video, I will cover how are you going to live this journey of next 14 days? What are the things you have to do in your theory, in your MCQs and with respect to paper attempting strategy. Okay? All the best.